Let us sing this Thanksgiving. Just give me the background. I am. Can we celebrate God for her putting her in the power? Mommy, thank you for coming. She's here to thank God and to celebrate with us. Mommy, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God will continue to bless you and to keep you. Your enemies will not rejoice over you. You will rejoice over them. In the name of Jesus. I am blessed to have one of our senior pastors in the ministry, my very friend, Pastor Edwin Odenjinji. Can we celebrate God for our Pastor Edwin? Odenjinji, a man of loyalty. God bless you, sir. When he called, he sent me a message. He said, Pastor, I'm coming to your Thanksgiving. I was like, wow. And he said today, thank you, sir. I, I, I will not take it for granted. God bless you. I am blessed to have my pastors. Pastor Miracle, let's put hands on our Pastor Miracle. Uh, uh, pastor, Pastor, Saint Julius. Celebrate God for him now. Amen. All of you, you are welcome. All the visitors, my mother is here. I mean, God bless you for coming. All of you who have been here, Scutterland Branch, God bless you. Our visitors, God bless you. Thank you for coming. If I mention your name, I don't mention your name. You're very important. Today is a very important day in this ministry. Every October is our Thanksgiving, so that next time you will not say you are not aware. October is always our Thanksgiving. Let us see the book of Lamentation, chapter 3. I want to talk on what I captured the mercy of God. That is the theme of this, our Thanksgiving. Somebody say the mercy of God. I'm not hearing you. Say the mercy of God. Please let your voice be loud. I say the mercy of God. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 21. God is a God of mercy. Take note of what I'm saying. God is a God of mercy. I'm going to be talking, I'm going to give you a lot of definition of what mercy is. And please, because if you understand mercy, you will use it well. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 21 to 23. Okay, let us start from 22. That it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion the fail not. 23. They are new every morning. Great is thy word. Faithfulness. Please, let us take it again. Everybody. He said, it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Lord, speak to us this hour. Cause us to have a better understanding of your world. Let your world do us good. And bring us to a place of better understanding of what makes this other part. In the name of Jesus. In this world, if you read Exodus chapter 34, verse 6, he said, The Lord God is merciful and gracious, long suffering, and abounding in greatness, in goodness, sorry, and in truth. God identified, declared himself to Moses as a merciful God. We saw that in in his mercy, he led the children of Israel to leave Egypt to their promised land. That is why I know in this meeting today, if you have been living in the land of the Egyptians, if you have been living in the place of no good thing happening, you have been in the place of no testimony, after today's meeting, testimony will appear in your life. Yeah. Ay, 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 that amen is not good enough. I said, in your life. Yeah. Let your enemy come like thunder. Yeah. One of the most repeated things in the in the Bible. 
Bible is mercy. One of the repeated things, if you are a good Bible student from Genesis to Revelation, only in the book of Psalm you find us that the word mercy appeared over 36 times in the book of Psalm. In the book of Psalm. If you read the Bible in the book of Psalm 136, he said, If it's of the Lord, let us go to Psalm 30. He said, It is a good thing. It's a good thing that we give him praise. For his mercies endure forever. Psalm 136. One, let us have a one. Do they give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercies endure forever? If you go down to two, you see it. So the word mercy appeared 36 times. Now, here is people God. One of the unsearchable riches of Christ is his mercy. One of the unsearchable riches in Christ is the mercy. Let us see the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4. God is rich in mercy. Because if God is not rich in mercy, some of us would have been a dead meat by now. If you are in Ephesians, please open your Bible. If you have your Bible, you are not just to look at me. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4. You say, for God who is rich in mercy, but God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, really, he loved us. Even when we were dead in sin, even while we were yet sinners, he loved us. His mercy was speaking for us. So God is rich in mercy. That is why the Lord gave us this thing, that it is the mercy of God. This Thanksgiving is all about mercy. Sir, your qualification cannot keep you standing. What is mercy? Number one. Mercy is God working for you in spite of the aggression of the devil. Mercy is God working for you in spite of the aggression of the devil. Sir, the devil has a great aggression on us. And it's all out to attack us at all times. But the reason we are standing it is his mercy. Because even by the night, some of us, God never gave answers to the prayers of our enemies. Because if God has allowed our enemies' prayers to come to pass, most of us would have been dead by now. But his mercy sustains us. Number two, mercy is God working for you. In spite of your weakness, mercy is God working for you in spite of your weakness. The next point, mercy is God working for you in spite of our wickedness. Some of us we are wicked. Eh? In spite of our weakness, the second one, the third one, mercy is God working for us in spite of our wickedness. Is wicked. Even the Bible said, even God said, I cannot even understand the heart of man because men are wicked. No my words. Number four, mercy is God assisting you in spite of your shortcoming. Please take note of this divinity because with this divinity, it will help you to understand that God is good. Am I talking to somebody? Mercy is God assisting you in spite of your shortcomings. The next point, mercy is judgment put aside. Mercy is what? Judgment put where? Aside. So what we deserve is judgment. The woman that was caught in the very ass, her judgment was death, but mercy came in and her judgment was put aside. I don't know who is judging you. But by the mercies of God this morning, that judgment will be put aside. Amen. I say that judgment will be put aside. Amen. Let your name come better. Amen. Mercy is simply means guilt removed. Mercy simply means guilt removed. 
when mercy showed up, you don't need to have guilt anymore. The reason why you're still having guilt, sir, you have not understand the mysteries of mercy. The next point, number seven, mercy is what forgiving, forgotten. Mercy is what forgotten. God has forgotten your your error, sir. The day you gave, look at everybody. The day you gave your life to Christ, as you asked for His mercy, He has forgotten it. Listen to me, because some of us we are not set that to to oppress us with a lot of what we call conscience. See, conscience can be trained. Am I talking to somebody? Conscience can be trained. They tell I I I told someone. The day I gave my life to Christ, it may be I was a bad boy. I did evil to pass a miracle. And later I encountered God and gave my life to Christ. And I asked for his mercy. He forgave me. If this pastor sees me tomorrow and call me you this thief, I am not a thief. I am I will tell you face of sir, I have never wronged you before. You know, are you not the one that came to my house with it? It's not me. The one that came to your house is dead. That was why Apostle Paul said, I wrong no man. Why? Apostle Paul was the one who gave many women husband. And made many women to become widow. But he said, I wrong no man. He said, I kill no man. They were very angry. Do you know what it means? That you saw a man kill your husband. Later the man said, I kill no man. And you said, you have been lying. He was not lying. But he understood the place of mercy. Mercy pushed his judgment. The man who did that evil is dead. Do you know the reason why some of you are coming for all that? Because anytime you are preaching, you run commands. You have been giving all that more than the day they will give birth to you. You hear us on this preach. You come and give your life. You hear us on this. The devil is always making you to feel that you are condemned. Youth is always coming in. Conscience is telling you that you are not perfect. Sir, any man that claims to be perfect, like the goat, they are not supposed to be on this earth. God should have taken them away. Eh? God should have done what? Too many in the scripture that God took away was who? Enoch and who? Elijah. What is mercy? Mercy is the interruption of judgment process. Mercy is the interruption of judgment process. Where there is an interruption on judgment process, mercy is starting. Then you will be able to be judged. But mercy is stepping. I say, forget the process. Let, let go of everything. So we are forgiving you. Go. That is when mercy is stepping. And at that point of mercy, mercy is an emergency exit door to escape judgment. I love this one. Mercy is an emergency exit door to escape judgment. To do what? To escape what? Judgment. An exit door is not always open. It's only open when there is an what? Emergency. If there is some of these people bus, they will tell you this is an emergency bus. But people don't pass it there. Only when there is an emergency. And you see a little thing like hammer. That they will say use it to strike here. That is what tell you. That is where you escape from. And God. And mercy is that storm. Mercy is that all. That make you to escape every judgment process. I prophesy to somebody. After today, you will escape judgment. I say, after today, you will escape judgment. When mercy appears, qualification is not important. When mercy appears, qualification is not important. You don't need to see Calabaya. See, there are certain positions that some men have been in life. It's not their qualification that took them there. It is the mercy of God. The Bible says that the Lord told so. He said, when thou was little in the eyes, I did what? I raised you to become a king. By the pro- prophecy I have given before now, you are not in the lineage of the house of David, the kingship, sorry, you are not from the tribe that should hold the 
the throne. But because of mercy, mercy chose you to become a king from the tribe of Benjamin. He was the first king. But he never understood that that was mercy speaking for him. Some of you, the reason why you're standing is the mercy of God. So it is not the qualification that gets in that place. There are some guys who died in Keke. They have PhD. They have read to the best. best but they are still writing Keke. Sir, when you are working, sir, it is not your qualification that took it here. It is the mercy of God. What is mercy? Mercy is presidential pardon. That's another definition of mercy. Mercy is presidential pardon. When there is a presidential pardon, nobody can stand. No matter your sin, when the president, you know, when the president is stepping, there is a time, like, I, I, I have forgotten the year they did the presidential pardon. They release a lot of criminals, no matter the judgment they place on you. No matter the years of sentence, they say you are not in prison. They, 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 the president says, sign it, sign it, release them, release them. Even though the judge has said you are to die, but because the president has signed it, you are out of that place. You are out of that place. That is what mercy can do. I pray for somebody. If your heart is open, open up your hands wherever you are. Wherever they have marked you for death, wherever they have marked you for execution, wherever they have marked you for destruction, I declare a presidential pardon will be given to you. A presidential pardon will be given to you. In the name of Jesus. What is mercy? Mercy is a function of the sovereignty of God. Mercy is a function of the sovereignty of God. Because God is sovereign, He puts mercy as one of His sovereignty to prevent over judgment. Sovereign, the sovereign power in this nation is the president. Is we are the president. Sir, everyone look at me. The creation of man and the restoration of man is a function of mercy. The creation of man and the restoration of man is a function of the acts of mercy. God created us out of his mercy. God restored us out of his mercy. <laughs> so, I, I, I was preaching in the morning some of, before some of you came. In the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 21 says, he said, these people are right for, in order for them to show forth my words, my praise. In Isaiah 43 21. Now, let me ask you a question. So what God have you seen it. Do you think you see more than an angel? Eh? Have you heard the angels sing? Okay, let me know. Have you heard birds sing? Bed. Have you heard birds sing? If you are going into some tea forest, you will hear the sound of bed. You will know that for what you have bad voice more than my own. But God said I created you for you to show forth my place. Not because I don't have people. The Bible says the 24 elders and the numerous angels bow before him, worship him, holy, holy. They worship him every day. But yes, when did God come fight for man? And that is why the, 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 the angels say, What is man that you are so mindful of them? Why are you so careful about man? Let us execute them. Angels want God to kill us. That was why when they say one angel, don't go, you run with speed. To go destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. You know the intervention of Abraham. God said, I cannot do anything without telling my friend Abraham. And Abraham said, I have a family there. Please send them. Mercy exempted Lot. Anywhere they have mass people for destruction, whether in the post this December, this October, or this November, or this December, maybe the post will end as one for destruction. Because you are there, I declare mercy with single your heart. I declare mercy with single your heart. Amen. If you believe that, let your name come louder. Amen. Lord and the family came out. Mercy spoke for them. If they are sacking others in the company, if they are sacking others, they are putting people away. You will not be among those that will be put away. Mercy is the nature and the character of God. Mercy is the nature and the character of God. Take note of this. 
Let him have a spiritual platform for his administration. There is how mercy is being administered. This message is a very long message, but I'm going to give you the one I want to give you now. There is a spiritual protocol for receiving mercy. There is a spiritual protocol for receiving mercy. Which I'm going to teach you some other time. Another definition of mercy. Mercy is God's compassionate treatment for those who are in distress and crisis. Mercy is God's compassionate treatment for those who are in distress and in crisis. When you are in distress, mercy speak. What is mercy again? Mercy is God's acts of reframing himself from punishing you. Mercy is God's acts of reframing himself from punishing you or, or, or an offender. So, God puts mercy in order to stop him from destroying you. So, nobody sees God as somebody. But mercy is the one that God is seeing us with. The day he goes, sees what that ends. Pastor Brother Coco, let me use you for this demonstration. Prestige come. This is God Almighty. Stand. This is God Almighty. The Bible says, No eye see him and live. The Bible says that when God at the first day, God was coming to Adam to discuss with Adam. But as soon as Adam sinned against God, they needed a man in order to stand as the mediator, that will stand as the eyeglass. Let me use that as well. The goggle in order for God to see humanity. You know, some of us, we cannot look at sun directly, but with the help of a goggle, you can look at sun without having any reflection. That is why when has put on what? Max. So that they can look through the light. If you look through the light without the help of that mass, it will affect you. This is God. And this is humanity. Stand here. This is humanity. Full of sin. Full of our atrocity. God cannot behold iniquity. God cannot behold evil. But Jesus can behold this. He said to the woman, he said, where are the accuser? They were not there. He said, go. I'm not here to touch you. When God wants to see us, Jesus, do as he wants to see. Jesus come as he's looking. Jesus is the one standing. Jesus is the mercy. They die, God. Jesus move and God see this one already. He will finish this one. So Jesus is the mercy that is standing as the mediator. They don't move away judgments. Do as if you want to slap her. Mercy will hold the hand. Because if God slap this one, your life can never remain the same. Yeah? Do as if you want to blow her. Mercy will hold the hand. Mercy is holding the hand of God. And the Ogoni Abataya. Why the devil is coming to judge her? The same mercy is standing as a lawyer defending humanity. Speaking for us. Ah, the devil came to say that this girl committed all series of abortion. Mercy said no. He said this girl is a thief. Mercy said no. This girl is a robber. This girl is a fornicator. This girl has done all atrocity. Mercy said no. I am the one. I took her place. I took her place. So let the judgment that was made for her give it for me. Give it to me. Let me carry it. That was why he took our sin and nailed it on the cross. The devil in all that that your man the God is not seeing you. He's seeing you in the eyes of Jesus. The day you see the parents, the day you are uh, Gombala, or uh, Ibasa, the Rigada, some of us would like to jump through process. The day you throw the process of 
Jesus. That is why he said, you cannot go to my father except through me. You can only see my father when you see me. Because if I allow you to see my father, my father will kill you. My father cannot be holding iniquity. But I, I was once a, 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 a guy like you. I felt the, the, the weakness of a man. I cried. I went to toilet. I know where I know where to now they pass through. But my papa never be human being before. They don't know say with the shit. But in the shit. They don't know say with the sleep. The Bible said Jesus slept. Where did he sleep? He slept in the boat. He was snoring in the boat. And the boat was going up and down. Yet he was sleeping. So he said, I know. He said, yeah, relax. Don't worry. Some guests can come and their boyfriend before their father. Say, take my clothes. We have this clothes. Look good. My father don't like dating. Just put yourself together. No, no, no. I don't like this shoe. Jesus, back in just before the father. He said, dress away. And then you, now I come with my babe. Daddy, I've seen the girl. I want to marry. Where is the girl? Try to bring down your head. And where is the girl? Try again. We move on. Because if my papa sees you with that skin, he goes, say, my friend, who are you? Who is your father? My father is one from my friend that in this place. But if I cover her, my father don't have any option but to accept. Because I am the mercy. I pray for somebody. In the place of judgment, in the place of execution, let mercy speak for you. I say, let mercy speak for you. I say, let mercy speak for you. I say, let mercy speak for you. We are all that are dying. I prophesy by the oil of God upon my life. You will escape. Oh, 